<laughs> That's so bad. Let me see. <laughs> oh, I've got ringlets around my chin. <laughs> ringlets? <laughs> you look like a North Borough. <laughs> Sit down, bog. <laughs> oh, I used to think she said, Sit down, bug. <laughs> <laughs> Does this look good? Mm. <laughs> yeah, sun kissed. Mmm. Mmm. Do you just look more healthy? Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. I know what you no, mean. I... Right, should I hit record? It's recording. Oh. <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> what? It's been really, really good. Hi everyone, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Hello. Hello. And we're going to do something that is requested so much, apart from reacting to our... Fa Acting out fanfic? No, no, no. Reacting to our funny moments. Oh, so, I yeah. haven't seen that request. No, oh, that's such that a so good much. idea though. That, or a Q&A. So I thought it'd be really funny for us to do like a friend Q&A. Yeah! So we're just going to get straight into it. So this comes from Abba Grace, and this is quite a deep one already. Oh, go straight in the deep end. Straight in the deep. What made you feel like you could trust each other? Was it immediate or did it take a while? I think we answered this the other day. Did we? But on the way back from Bath, I think I said um, it was quite immediate that I felt like I could trust you with my secrets. Yes, I remember you saying that, me too. And I actually remember, do you remember having a conversation? It was like the third time you'd come around mm. and we were having a deep chat and you were like, how do you know you can trust me? Yeah. Do you remember? You said mm. that to me. You are like, not in like a weird, not in like a, you shouldn't be trusting me, but in like a, how do you know to trust me when you've only, we've only met up like three times. Like, how are you like so open with me? Yeah. Yet you don't know like if I'm going to like run off and tell anyone. I was like, I just know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It was like, like a weird know. sense. Yeah. Like a seventh sense. Yeah. Like um. I just know anything I ever say to you won't go anywhere. It keeps dumb. Yeah. And then vice versa. Yeah. Um, certain things obviously I tell you that I don't tell most people. Mm. And it was just like natural. Yeah. I it felt was, it was like after the, like the, even the first time you came around here I was like I don't know. Mm. I just Did you have never had a thought where I'm like oh maybe I shouldn't tell him. Oh that. yeah, I was just going to ask that. Yeah, no, I've never ever had that thought. Oh, that's cool. Obviously I didn't like hit you with all my like deepest darkest secrets the first time you came around. Yeah. That was a bit intense. <laughs> But like, I, you know them all now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you two keep such a good friendship despite being of different genders? Because <laughs> I think that's like one of the main things like, oh, you can't be friends with a girl or a boy because you have to, there has to be some sort of like fancying or loving connection, but. I feel like in those instances, that's quite a young person because mm. I feel like Nobody past a certain maturity would ever think that way about gender. Yeah. Growing up, I always had friends who were boys. And there was always that like, oh, but is he really your friend? Mm. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. But like, I think it's kind of like a more modern thing, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's very old fashioned to be like, you can't be friends with boys. Yeah. Unless you fancy them. Personally, I don't think of gender as like a factor when it comes to friendships. Mm. I just think if you've met somebody, regardless of their gender, regardless of their age even. Yeah. If you get on really well and you have that like bond, then it doesn't really matter. Mm. And I've never <laughs> seen having a boy as a friend any different to having a girl as a friend, yeah. ever. Like, I if I was struggling, actually no. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I was struggling with a tampon insertion, <laughs> I'd be like, Mark, help me out. <laughs> so actually, I don't think I'd say that to anyone. Not even Alfie. What would you do if I was like, Mark, I need your help. And I was like, I had a tampon stuck. Honestly, <laughs> I'd help. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> would you ever be able to look me in the eye ever again? <laughs> I'd be a bit coy, I'd be like, just in your quiche. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Betty, what is your funniest ins inside joke together? I think this is quite a funny one. Oh my god, we have so many inside jokes. I think <laughs> my one always goes back to when we were downstairs. <laughs> I got oh, blanked. He <laughs> got blanked. We were watching Harry Potter. And it was like <laughs> it's the one where Harry doesn't look as fit or something. And I was like, <laughs> I was like yeah, this is the one where Harry Sarah's. I always I have this thing where I wouldn't say I'm blunt, mm. 
You're very like I direct, just... I think. <laughs> but I bet no one knows that about no, me. No. I... Okay, so when I know someone, I'm quite comfortable with someone, and it's not about them, like it will, I'll never be like rude to somebody, but if someone asks me a question and I know the answer, I don't like dilly dally. Yeah. Like, I, I'm just like, I don't know. But I've never noticed that until like this year. But I do do it. Yeah, I think it's like. And that makes us laugh. Sometimes it catches me off guard. Like we need to give them an example. So when we were shopping for pancake stuff, I was just like, oh, what does this do? Pause. <laughs> yeah. Picked up a measuring jug and it was like, oh, what's this for? I was like, to pour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was it weird knowing Mark was a huge fan before becoming friends, or did you click right away? Mm. So when I think of this, which I find really interesting, when I watched your video, I didn't think, oh, he's a fan. Like, mm. when I watched your video, I didn't think, oh, he's a fan, like, that's cute, or that's weird, I couldn't be friends with a fan. I was just like, this guy's funny, I really like his videos. Like, it wasn't ever like, I didn't care what you thought of me, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, I didn't really... Yeah, because I, I was a little bit like, because <clears throat> when I got invited to a book launch, I was just like, why the fudge am I being invited? Like, is it like a, is it also like a meet and greet? Like, is there other, <laughs> is there gonna be like other people there that watch your videos? But then when I realised it was just me, I was just like, oh, okay, this is cool. Yeah, I honestly just didn't see you as a fan. I, was mm. just, I just was like, oh, that's nice that he likes my products, he's made a video about it. But I didn't see that as like a reflection of you. I just, I was like, oh, he seems like such a fun guy. Like he's like he you reminded me of me mm. but it didn't bother me like whether you were a fan of me or not yeah like, and i still don't i never think of you as, as that mm. i'm so, I, I think i jokingly tweeted i think about i'm it, your though. biggest fan do you think i yeah. think i'm your biggest fan but like in a friendship way like yeah i think we support each other like the best way possible yeah oh, should we open like my tummy <laughs> is sweating <laughs> phil it's damp that's well, a bit damp. <laughs> that was your belly button. I just poked it in. <laughs> right. <clears throat> What's the one thing you change about the other person? <laughs> um. Oh, that's so hard. Honestly, nothing. I'll tell you for why. When we went to Bath, <clears throat> I was like, me and Zoe get on so well. We've never had a disagreement. We've never had an argument. We've never like. She's never said anything that I was just like, mm. <laughs> like ever. But I, thought, I know what you mean by those things. Though, yeah, that does happen sometimes. Really, like, like little twins. Like, oh, I don't agree with that. <laughs> yeah. But I thought if it was going to happen, it would have happened in Bath, like when we were away. Like if there was going to be like a disagreement or something, like anything, it would have happened then because obviously we were living in the same cottage. We we're spending so much time together for like four days. It's going to happen then. But nothing happened. I just can't imagine <clears> it ever <throat> happening. No, and I honestly wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything about you. Not even your bluntness. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm quite blunt as well. But I think you are the most laid back person I've ever met in my life. Really? Yeah. Which makes me think that I feel like maybe that's how, that's why we can never really argue. Mark is the least <clears throat> angry person. Like, unless you upset his friends or family. Yeah, that's the same with you as well, isn't it? Yeah, mm. and I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I just don't really have any anger in me. No, <laughs> no, I don't think we have, we're not angry people. I think that's why we get on very well. Mm. We're also very open with each other. <clears throat> yeah. Like, if I'm in a bad mood, you'll be like, what's up? Mm. And I'll just tell you. Mm. I think it was on the way to um, the water sports day where you went really quiet and I knew straight away that there was like something wrong. And then when we came home that night, I was just like, oh, did you feel a little bit anxious on the way there? And you were like, yeah. And I was just I like, can remember <clears> the exact <throat> point we were in the car when I felt yeah. that. And also at the time I was thinking, I've never really been anxious in front of Mark, mm. so I don't know if he's going to know yeah. But you did. And I was just like, what do you want me to do? Like, if, if, you're, if you go quiet, do you want me to just leave you or make sure like you're okay? And then you told me and that was fine. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I can always tell when you're like down, like when we made you watch a monster calls and you were broken. <laughs> I honestly felt, yeah. I've never felt so bad in my entire life. I was like, Mark's never going to speak to me ever again. I think because I wasn't prepared, like... I know, but then I was like, oh my God, I should have prepared him. Why didn't I prepare him? Even when I came out, Sean was like, 
He like the most serious I've ever seen Sean. He was just like, you're right. And I was like, yeah, thanks, Sean. And I was like, I went off again. It broke Mark. It, it, it literally broke me. But you, I knew to give you space because I was like, he wants space. You were like walking ahead. Yeah. And then, bless her, my mum was like, oh, Mark. Yeah. And, you're, and you had to be like, I'm not usually this quiet. Yeah, I know. I was just like, usually I'd be like bouncing off the walls. But I think it just hit me, that film. And I, I think that's the, that's the only time where I've probably been like. Sad. And then we came back and watched The Missing and I was still a little bit I like, made it my mission. I was like, you can't leave my house until you're like happy again. Yeah. I would, maybe I would say that you fart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do wish Mark would fart because Mark doesn't fart. I just don't. That was actually one of the questions. I'm ruining the question. But you don't burp. No, I don't. That's and a, you burp. I burp. <laughs> I fart. <laughs> I really, maybe that's what you should change about me. No, because like. Even though sometimes I'm like, fuck me. <laughs> I felt the earth move. Yeah, especially on the sofa sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> who is the bigger diva out of you two? Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's probably me. I think because, um, <clears throat> like, I'm, I'm, I'm game for anything. Because <laughs> like, you're so laid back, I think it has yeah. to be me. Because. But it's not diva-ish behaviour. Like I always say to you, you know what you want and you know what you don't want. Yeah. So it, that's not a bad thing. Like you're up for anything, yeah. like all the time. And I'm sometimes a bit more unsure of things. So I'm, I'll be a bit like, oh, I don't know. But you're getting so much better. Like ridiculously better. Aren't you though? Yeah, I'm Like trying. most of the time you're like, let's do this. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> God, help. What's one thing you admire about the other person? A lot of things I... Make me admire. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you've got your you've got your amazing like brand and everything, and you're like the most normal person I've ever met. And I feel like the way you've been able to keep grounded and funny, Aww. and you can still take jokes. I feel like I can be so open and honest and tell you anything, never without a judgment. Mm. But it comes with a stigma, a stigma around like s like uber successful people that they're not going to be like nice people. Mm. And I'm not saying that all successful people are assholes, but when you're that successful and the way you are, you're so normal and just so like loving and generous. Aww. It's just, I, I think that's what I admire the most. It feels. The um, thing I admire the most about you is your open-mindedness. You're so like caring. There's quite a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark is the most caring person I've ever met in my life. And you're very compassionate, like you you want people to feel how you feel. Mm. You're very empathetic. Mm. If someone suggests something, you're like, that sounds amazing. Or like, again, you have no, like, honestly, you just don't pass judgment on anything. Like mm. anything or anyone. Just like, so caring, compassionate and like, non-judgmental and like, you have a really open heart. Oh. <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> you're ruining your... <laughs> Blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Lily Anderson asked, what is the most embarrassing thing you have done together? <laughs> oh God. I think that I've done so many awkward things in front of you. Just like I've said something wrong or I've like, when we're out in public, I drop things. You're quite bumbly. It never goes unnoticed, especially <laughs> by you. I feel like every tiny little thing I do, you'd always notice it. I'm like, oh, saw that. <laughs> I heard that. I think. Poppy says that I do that as really? well. Really? You're very, um. <clears throat> it's because I find them so endearing. Like, I love things like that. Do you? Yeah. What's the opposite of oblivious? I'm so in tune and yeah. switched on. <laughs> when that man was reaching, I thought he was reaching for the, to give me a handshake, but he was actually reaching to pick up the plate on our <laughs> table. And I went like that and I was like, oh sorry, I thought you were going to shake my hand. And yeah, he was like. And he, what made it worse was that he went, oh, I'll shake your hand if you want. And Mark was just not paying attention. So he was like, don't leave me hanging. Yeah. And he gave me a really awkward hand and I was just like, oh, sorry. Oh. oh. Is there anything you want to know about the other person but you've been too scared to ask? <sighs> no, I can't think of anything. Um, <clears throat> when we first began, began for it. <laughs> See? Yeah, but you laugh. You notice it now and you laugh and then I feel like it's okay. 
okay for me to Yeah, talk. it's always okay. I think when we first became friends. It's okay. When we first began friends. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's nothing, like there's nothing I don't know about you mm. except the size of your dick, which, yeah. I, don't, <laughs> which, I, don't, which I don't need to know. <laughs> you always seem to surprise me with what you say, because sometimes you'll be so serious, and then sometimes you'll be so honest and like say something like that. That's one of my favourite things about you, actually. <laughs> Like, the other day when I was just like, do you realise you're actually really funny? <laughs> and then you were like, no. And then, yeah. <laughs> do you remember when we were first becoming friends, we would sit downstairs for like hours just talking. Mm. And then we we talk. And you would cry yeah. and... Cry and snot everywhere. <laughs> when like we became friends, I was just like, I can trust her like with anything. Yeah. But I would Was I what you thought I was going to be like? Better. Really? Yeah. Aww. Because as I said, that goes back to the other question. You never know how people are, mm. like, like deep down, like what they're like in their home. I never like... really think about it from your point of view. Like that must have been like quite like not scary, but like it could have been quite intimidating. Yeah. Like coming to my book club. Because I didn't just meet you. I met everyone. <laughs> Like everyone that I'd watched but for how years. How lovely is everyone? <clears throat> like I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. That was a massive. I joke. feel like, like you were saying earlier, it's so easy to just kind of stereotype people based on like their success or like, oh, they must have a massive ego because they live in a nice house and she earns money and like, yeah. it is a thing. Like that is a thing that I've experienced. Like mm. the judgment that gets passed on you when they don't really know you and they haven't taken the time to know you but based on like some stats and some figures. Yeah, I think it's easier for you to s say to someone, they're an arsehole because they're successful. Yeah. It's, it's just easier to say that. And I can swear to you- Were I'm... you nervous? Were you like, oh my God, <clears throat> what if she's like this, like- I, I didn't, I honestly, because I got a cab, I didn't think about it until I got stuck in traffic. Because it went all through my head. I was just like, oh, imagine if Tanya's there, if Alfie's going to be there. I'm sure Alfie's going to be there, if Zoe's there. Like, and then <laughs> when they, um, when I went in, you had to go up some stairs. I was like, I can't believe I'm going to do this. I want to shit all over you the floor. You were so <clears throat> brave. Like, mm. the first... I would never have done that. Yeah, you were like, the first thing you said to me was like, are you coming on your own? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, like exceeded expectations as a person. And yeah. And here we are today. Here we are. How many years has it been? Only a year. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it feel like forever? <laughs> Only a year. This is your... No, like a year and a half. Year and a half. Was there a time where you both said the same thing at the same time? All, All the time. The time. <laughs> I think it was the other day at your dad's where like Joe was saying something and we were both tucking into our pancakes <laughs> and, so and in the same tone as well, we were like, can you imagine? And I looked at you and like, I was like, can you imagine? Yeah. We both just went, like me and Mark just have the same brain. Yeah. Like we, I was thinking, I laughed out loud <laughs> in the car. Yeah. So there'd been like five minutes of silence because believe it or not, we aren't like this constantly. <laughs> there'd been five minutes of silence in the car. We were all just kind of in our own heads. And I chuckled. <laughs> and, and, then I, and then I said what had made us laugh earlier on. And Mark was like, I kid you not, that is what I was just thinking yeah. about. And I was like, that is weird. Mm. I think the more time we spend together, we just like in sync. We, we get in are sync. becoming the same person. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty scary. I like this one. If you could be any celebrity BFF pair, who would you be? What do you mean? Like a celebrity like, like BFFs. Who would we be? Me and you? Yeah. Having a BFF friend. <laughs> Alan Carr and Adele. <laughs> that would be so good. Because they're secret friends. Are they? Yeah, they're like really close. Like I remember when she was on um, Chatty Man and like they go round and have curries with each other. Oh, yeah. oh the simple life with Paris Hilton. And yes. Oh my God. Little that mischief would be makers. so fun. I think we're kind of like that. Yeah. Oh my God. Why didn't I even think of that? Paris and Nicole. Yeah, that yeah. would have been so funny. We should do something like that. Go to like, um, like a farm or something. Oh my god! Work on it a farm. Would just be <laughs> the worst, wouldn't we? Is it easy maintaining a friendship under the constant stress of YouTube and all the gossip and rumours? Oh, now I think I've been of the brunt of that for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, you can answer this one. Um, honestly, because I know the truth, you know the truth, Alfie knows the truth. We all get on so well off camera. It's never, it's never 
been a point where I knew it would jeopardise our friendship. No. With the rumours and like, because people are brutal sometimes. And that's something I've had to learn. I feel like we could do a whole video on this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally. I, the only thing I found hard was thinking, I hope he still wants to be my friend. Yeah. Because, because it is like, I touched on this a little bit in my Q&A. Having a relationship online, having a friendship online, you can talk a lot about the relationship online and you can keep things to yourself and keep things private and whenever you have an intense friendship or an intense relationship or even you've just made a friend, it's like you're going under a microscope. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder if Mark is prepared for that. But then on the same on the other hand, I didn't really think about it because I didn't I just wanted to be your friend. I wasn't trying to be like your YouTube friend or like a business partner or I wasn't thinking, oh, this will be a great collab. Like, mm. I was just like, I want to be his friend. Same. Like, off camera, no cameras filming, even if we didn't do this as a job, I want to be his friend. And then when people started saying things, like, at this point, I am so used to seeing and reading everything. It hadn't really crossed my mind that you might not be the same. Mm. So then I was like, I had a little moment with myself and I was like, Oh my god, I don't know how Mark would hand like is gonna handle this. Like maybe he won't want to be my friend, maybe he'll think I think like that, mm. maybe it can completely ruin it, which it has done before for me. So I got really paranoid then and I was like, oh my god, I hope he doesn't like run for the hills because he's like, F being friends with her with yeah. if it comes with all this. But ultimately, I just I don't know, it hasn't, it's never affected us in the slightest. No, because like, as I said, it goes back to being so open. We can just laugh about it now. Oh yeah, I, like, the majority of the time now, at first I was just like, oh, <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. Why are people hating on me? But now it's just like, it's it's gone too far for us to care. Like there's nothing that could be said. What doesn't kill you make you stronger? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Diet. 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 Describe each other's personalities in only three words. Ooh. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. Unpredictable. Hilarious. Oh. <laughs> <Is that what? laughs> I don't think that's a word. How do you spell that? Uh. Oh god. <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to combine the two. Lenorous, because you are honestly the most generous person I've ever met. But you're also really loving. Lenorous. Lenorous. <laughs> Lenorous. Unpredictable and hilarious. Okay, you are compassionate. Mhm. Mm funny. Mhm. Mm and open. <laughs> What I mean by that is, like, <laughs> like open heart, open mind, open bomb, open heart, <laughs> open heart. <laughs> Can you tell me what compassionate means again? Um, <laughs> compassion is the response to the suffering of others that motivates a desire to help. Oh, okay. So you care about other people. You care a lot about other people. Cool. It's like it's like a a deeper word than care. So thanks so much for being on my channel, Zoe. I hope thanks you had fun. Thanks for having me. That's, that's the only time I feel like proper like I don't know. Like thanks for being on my channel. Because it's really like to camera kind of yeah. like a piece to camera. Yeah. So make sure to check out the video we did on Zoe's channel. What did we do? Well, we're about to make some comic relief Easter inspired cupcakes. Two things I love the most, and two things you love the most, mini eggs and chocolate shreddy thing. Mm. <laughs> Thanks so much for being on my channel. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and we shall see you very soon. Bye! Bye. And then your music plays. I don't then... do that anymore. I don't even have my intro anymore. <gasps> Bring I it know. back. What are you doing? What are you playing at? Don't start round with me. <laughs> First argument yeah. on camera. Could you imagine? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think you take everything so literal. I think that's the thing. I think we've just worked it out. Can you imagine? No. No. <laughs> I really want to laminate it. You can't. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.